Well, it's a beautiful morning here. Sun shining. Got a little rain last night. Not very much, but enough. Uh, the reason I'm out here by the camper is I'm going to go around it, show you. We're selling it. We're letting it go. After owning it for the last three or four years, taking it from uh, pretty rough shape on the inside, we've uh, refurbished it, and now we're passing it on to someone else. So what I'm going to do is give you a walk around and walk through and let you see see what we got. It does have uh, just a little dents here and there, nothing major, just amazingly like rock damage, from, you know, driving. Um, but overall, the outside of it was in great shape when we got it. It just was a very, in very need of a good bath. Uh, probably the biggest damage is right here in the door, which, I mean, it's nothing, it's not real bad. Uh, maybe here a little bit on the back where it, the camper had kind of settled. Of course, it's a 1983, so it kind of settled on the frame there. And I've reinforced, you might have seen the video, but I reinforced the back floor so it isn't, it's not sagging no more. And then up here, this is where previous owner, which was my in-laws, had put a window unit for the air conditioning because this model back in 1983 did not come with an air conditioner. So my father-in-law put an air conditioner or you know a window unit right there so if next owner can do that. Uh, when we take a camping we'd always find a shady the shady camp area and with the windows open and breeze the vents on the roof open we did all right for, uh, for air moving, lots of windows. Uh, I'm gonna put a new piece of that aluminum tape along there, it looked pretty good. And this down here is the water, city water inlet. It does not have a holding tank in there, so there's where the See, that's the water heaters right in there. That door. Tires are in great shape. They're only, uh, I think they're two years old. They've probably got 200 to 250 miles on them. This is the refrigerator area. That is the uh, furnace vent. Down here underneath is the black water, gray water drain which it does have both tanks. Uh, I repainted the hitch, I painted it red. At the time I had red paint, I thought, well, what? that's a little different. I'll just do it red. So that's what I did. All windows crank open and out, none of them are broke. So let's go in and take a look. So as we walk in, I've got this screen that we got at the store. It closes with these magnets. Most the time they all click in, so you click that top one. And Adventure Awaits. Awaits someone. Now we're in the dining area. Dinette set we got. Uh, I built a the back side. I put in a little bench. Like if someone had children, they could sit on that so you could fit more people around the table. It's not very deep, but it is padded. It's a piece of it's carpeted. There's a cabinet under here. 
decorations are in here just to show you what it looks like lived in. And they'll probably go in with this new camper. Comes with a refrigerator, which works. Cabinet above that. Our camper, welcome camper, happy camper stuff. Okay, for, as we move around the room, this is the uh, I guess you'd call it a kitchen area. It does come with a microwave, we're leaving that. I built this cabinet, uh, it does come with a we're throwing in an electric grill. That you can either put right here on this other side of the cabinet. Use this cabinet for. We never cooked it with it in here. We always cooked outside, so that's your extra prepping area, I'd say. Or we put our TV on there and watch TV from there. Let's look our layola right here on the floor. We put new flooring down. It's that final flooring. We love it. The look of it way back to the bedroom the bedroom did not come with a door but we added this curtain just for a little bit of privacy step back here you can see that yeah it's a heavy curtain that uh, no light even gets through that it's pretty, pretty good more decorations back here up above the bed uh, more cabinets two cabinets there So the bed is full size, uh, take it or leave it. We left it in here to show what it looks like. We thought it was just kind of weird that someone would buy our bed that we've slept in for a couple of years. Uh, cabinet here. We've added that. It's a little bit of storage. Up top it's got a place you can put hangers, hang your clothes up. Home sweet home, or should say home sweet camper. Another little camper. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we, uh, this is the bathroom. Get that over. Got, of course, a sink, waterworks, uh, toilet. Toilet has a flush on the back side here. You pull that with your hand back over here, pull it forward, and the water comes out, swishes around the rim and down, cleans the toilet, medicine cabinet, both both doors are in there that work, medicine cabinet, uh, new shower curtain, there's the shower, it's got a tub, it's not a big tub, but a small tub. Guess if you had to, you could sit there. Uh, it's got a fan in the ceiling of the skylight here in the in the bathroom, a little one. It works. Light, of course. But, well, to tell you the truth, we've really enjoyed this camper. Uh, we've we've camped in it several times. Sometimes we've camped here in the yard. We've taken it places and camped. We've had a good time with it. Um, we just feel it's time to move on. We're, we're getting a, a different camper that's a little bit bigger, a little more room. We're getting to the age where we're, we're wanting to experience more life things, where we're gonna do a lot more, hopefully traveling. And, and it's time to let someone else have the camper for a while and enjoy and love it like we have, so. I appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, thanks for watching me as I, I and my wife and whoever else in the videos that I've previously had on restoring this thing or refurbishing it. Uh, thanks for watching those videos too. Um, we are selling the camper. We're asking forty to fifty, four thousand two hundred fifty dollars, and say we've got we put a lot of time time and effort into it a little bit of money 
and it's a good camper so so thanks for watching the trailer's rocking don't come a knocking right over there so thanks again see y'all down the road bye